Yes. Just go to Castries. You fought or any major commercial place. You will see grandmothers walking around with short skirts. Short skirts, short shorts. Mothers. Let me tell you something. You would never catch my grandmother doing them kind of things. When I was growing up in my era, grandmothers were not passing around with short clothes like that. And then what, what, what they do at the end of the day? When the, the seeds of the confusion start affecting the young people, they do not know what to do. And they make it look as if the young people and the crimes that they commit is something that is from space, something that is isolated. A lot of the things that we see happening, people want to blame Prime Minister, they want to blame um, other people. They refuse to blame the people that are directly responsible. The people that contribute around 60% of the crime in the country are these grandmothers. The grandmothers who pass around with short pants and short, short things. You know, it shows that you have no moral scruples, no moral scruples, scruples. And then you want to um, come and play like, you know, you want to go and blame ministers, blame government, blame this, blame that. It's a Zogi Cafe. You understand? The other thing too is, when we were growing up, when we were growing up, if I did something, or if for any reason, any school had to tell my mother to come to the school, from the time I heard that, I would have been scared already, nervous already, afraid already. You understand? Right now, we're in an era where it's like the teachers have no rights. When the teacher implement any disciplinary measure against the child, the mother would, will come to the school and try to insult the teacher. So really, you're really affecting yourself, you, you, you're really shooting yourself in the foot and you're contributing to the moral decay of your, of, of your children because when you look at it, the children will spend most of the day with the teacher. And if the teacher cannot discipline the child, you really, what you're going to have is a monster in the end. And even the laws that we have, the laws that we come up with, it really um, put the teacher in a dis at a disadvantage where the teacher has limited means of disciplining children in the schools. So all of these things contributing to the problems that we have. But we're still on the parents, eh? The, and the thing is, I have, I have a right to talk about those things because I, have, I was the teacher one time. What we have is a situation where you have um, guys who have children. And certain times, very basic things, the children do not have it. And it will shock you sometimes when you find out that... The person who's the parent, the father of this child, has a very good job in society or has a very good trade. He has a very good trade. He's a successful carpenter. He's a welder. He's a this, he's a that. But yet still, he doesn't take care of the children. Some of these guys will come by the bar and boast and tell people, Vin point boy, point boy, point boy. And then you have children that go into school without books. Children go into school without books. And at the end of the day, you wonder why the children end up the way that they end up. You see, right now you have um, situations where you have the shootings and all of these things taking place. The criminality started from the school. The criminal mentality and the ideology started from the time the people were going to school. There was a day I was teaching a time and um you know when school is closing they have these dances that they had in the school and one of the students came and called me and tell me that a certain um stu a certain student went into the dance with a knife apparently he, he was in some problems with some people from some other part of castries and he had the knife he went to the dance with the knife and i went into the dance and I pull him out of the dance. And hey, it was a real long knife. And the thing that he was scared. 
because the other guys look like they were um, overpowering him in their community. And if this boy had just attempted to launch that knife into one of these other boys, it would have been a very horrible situation in the school. So we have situations where sometimes the, the boys are being bullied and they do not really tell anybody, they don't tell their parents, they don't tell anybody what is really happening to them. And the other thing too is, you have parents who have their children and they know their children to be bullies and yet they will not discipline them. They will not discipline them. Okay, so a lot of the problems that we have in terms of what is the outcome, the horrific outcome that we have in the society, it stems from the house. It stems from the house and it is very, very um, sad when you hear certain things happen on the news and the parents get a chance to talk, they always invariably blame some other person. Blame the society, blame this and blame that. Let me tell you something. The Prime Minister has a responsibility and is directly responsible for those things too. But I tell you straight up, if I were Prime Minister of the country, I would not let my conscience hurt me and not be able to sleep because of, of the crime. Because this is an act of hypocrisy. Why should the Prime Minister take the blame for all the crimes that is happening in the country? Take all the blames. Yeah, there is a certain part of the crime um, thing that he's responsible for. Because he can uh, allocate resources. He can set up different community, um, committees. He can also, uh, um, allocate resources to make sure that things happen in a more efficient and effective way to reduce crime. But it cannot be that you blame any prime minister, regardless if it's Chastney or regardless if it's um, Brother Pierre. You cannot be blaming um, prime ministers solely for crime and leaving these parents as if, like, you know, they, they, they're innocent. One time on the news, I heard her parents um, blaming the society for what her child did. You understand? Man, let me tell you something. There, is a, there are a lot of things that these parents, these parents know. A lot of the parents know what is happening in their children. And sometimes when you hear the parents talk, when you hear the words that are coming from their mouths, you understand why their children behave the way they behave. You understand why their children do the things that they do when you hear the words that come from the mouths of, the, of these children, of the parents. You understand? This, the parents, some of them, some of these people, it's almost like a fella told me one time that um, he was bringing up the concept of Nuiti Sepa. He was saying that um, some, some parents are just um, the, the, the grooming or the, the nurturing little snakes. And when you really look at it, that's what it is. Learn your shy parents, you can Nuiti Sepa. You understand? In the society, that's what is happening. And you're not really hating. You hearing people talk on the radio and all of that and they're blaming everybody else. They're blaming Prime Minister like as if like 70% of the uh, uh, of the reasons why people are killing other people is because of the Prime Minister. Um, they blame everybody else. They blame this, they blame that. Um, they even blame um, how they, the church leaders and everybody else get the blame. They blame teachers and everybody except for the parents. No! The parents are responsible for 70% of what's going on there. You understand? 70%. When we were growing up, there are certain things that we could not do. You understand? There are certain things that we could not do, certain things we could not say. There are certain times we could not be on the street. But right now, the people are bringing up their children opposite to, what, to their conventional way of doing things. You understand? And so... We need to hold them parents responsible for the crime. We need to hold parents responsible for the crime. You hear any, you know, it is just, it, it angers me sometimes when you listen to the media and you listen to people talk. They behave like they know everything. And every time, invariably, they blame the prime minister. They blame this administration. They blame this one. They blame that one, except for the parents. These days, yes, and we have a situation. It's almost like when somebody, when somebody is 30 years their grandparents already, 30 years, you understand? And these people, they do not instill any morals, any values in, in, in these children. 
you have to provide for the people because Well, I, wait. So, what we have now is a situation where we have these um, parents not assuming their responsibilities, blaming everybody else, and not assuming the roles of parents. And at the end of the day, they want to blame governments for this thing. Keep the fire burning. There is more, but you know, keep the fire burning. We'll talk about that another time.